Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 32 of Left Platinum, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Alright, there's all the records that we got, uh, but today we're going to get started on our final playthrough and we're just going to jump straight in. New game on Assisted. The difference on Assisted is for place new to the RE series, aim assist, recover a certain amount of health automatically, enemies are a little weaker, begin the game with an assault rifle and receive more ammunition when crafting. Alright, so um, we only need to play the game one more time to get two more trophies. They are uh, minimalist, which is to get through the whole game without using a storage box. And uh, I might need these for later, which is to get through the game with using one or fewer healing items. Now, I believe the reason that they say one or fewer rather than none is because uh, when you get to the area with the drain demos where you have to turn on all the power switches, um, the a cutscene automatically poisons um, Jill and you're you're not technically forced to use a green herb to clear that poison but you are kind of um, uh, I can't think of the word you're encouraged to do so um, if you were to not use a uh, green herb to heal the poison then um, you could still make it through um, I actually tested this on a on a practice playthrough. Um, essentially, if you as soon as you leave that area um, with the drain demos, um, Jill just like sort of throws up and and uh, the poison goes away. So yeah. Um, so we're gonna go through this pretty fast. I'm gonna try and make this a three episode finale, um, about twenty or so minutes each one. Um, I've practiced twice. Uh, the first time I think I finished in one hour and 40 something minutes and then the second time I think I finished in one hour eight minutes or something like that so hopefully I can beat that. I'm just gonna be quiet here because I know this is quite loud this part. Okay there we go. Um, yeah so you know I, I played it um, twice just to kind of get an idea of how quickly I could do it, um, what I needed exactly and what I d didn't need. We are going to pick up a few things that we don't necessarily quote unquote need, um, but it makes it easier uh, later on. So hopefully I can get this really quick. So like I said, my record is one hour and eight minutes. Let's see if I can beat that. Actually, I might need to do it in four episodes, I'm just thinking, because even though... Um, even though my final time is one hour and eight minutes, uh, that's not actually representative of the amount of time I've been playing. The game only counts time when you're not in a cutscene, which is why we leave certain things. Uh, this is something I want to note here. Have a look at this um, sign that falls down. When you say here, see how it's like it says the word crazy. Interestingly enough, Dungan Rompa was my previous um, my previous guide and. Uh, it says the word crazy there, and each of those letters, C, R, A, Z, and Y, are actually in the form of diamonds, and there was a group um, in the game called the Crazy Diamonds, which I thought was a really weird thing. I noticed it after playing the game so many times, and I was like, oh, this almost says Crazy Diamonds. <laughs> it's funny because Crazy Diamonds sounds like the name of like a potential, you know, like a casino, but in, uh, in Danganronpa that wasn't the case. So you can see there that I... Um, also have a assault rifle. One, two, three. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so I thought that was a nice little um, connection between two games that you would never associate with each other. Uh, almost certainly never associate with each other. But yeah, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about with Danganronpa um, or what that game is, check out my channel and type in Danganronpa. It's exactly as it sounds. Dan, D-A-N, Gan, G-A-N. Ron, R O N P A for Pa, Dung and Romper. And have a look, you, you might be surprised uh, what you find. Um, but yeah, I um, thought that was a nice little uh, kind of almost an allusion to it. Obviously, it's not, but well, maybe not. Um, who knows? It could be. Um, Alright, so yeah, this is always the same thing. I'm going to skip the cutscene here. Done wait a little bit and skip Roni. yes <laughs> that was fast 
All right. Um, yeah, actually, this will probably take four episodes, I think, maybe. Would you help me out? Because uh, I need more episodes. <laughs> Um, yeah, in terms of like the difficulty of this, this is obviously nothing compared to what we did with the Inferno, so oh, I uh, I thought it would be nice to end on a little so bit of a, a breather, essentially. Let's see if I can get past him. I managed to do it before. What I like to do is stay to his left, and as soon as you get to the open wall here... Ah, damn. Sometimes you can get here as well. There we go. No thanks. He's all yours. It doesn't really help, because um, Carlos has to get to the end first, anyway. Um... What are you talking about? I never noticed until this playthrough, and uh, particularly when we get to use Carlos later. He has got some massive muscles. Like, he's not just a big guy, he is a big guy. <laughs> Like, give the rock a run for his money. Yes, finally. Okay, I'm just gonna get the assault rifle bullets here. Go, go. One little time save you can do here is, um, Jill's gonna answer the, the, um, radio. So when you get to the top here, just, <laughs> um, do like a little dodge with the R1 button. You can get a little bit further. And that's what I did there. Uh, and how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the. I'm gonna grab these two. I'm just gonna grab the gunpowder here and combine them because, uh, oops, there we go. Because it gives you like 30 bullets and basically means that you don't have to pick up anything <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> yeah, everything in this mode is extremely like much much easier. And I'm gonna bother with those handgun ammo. That handgun ammo. Just go around here. Notice that the police car door is actually not open this time around. Let's see if I can time this right. R1, R1. Oh, nice. That was actually even better than I expected. Skip. Let's run around these guys. Beautiful. Go. Go. Yeah, move. Oh, you had to be right in the way, didn't you? Alright, nice, we got it. Uh, yes, I'm gonna quickly uh, dive in here. I'm gonna grab the fancy box. I'm gonna take it with me. I'm not actually gonna... Obviously, don't put it in the, uh, in the, in the item box, because that would ruin everything immediately. Uh, the reason we're grabbing the fancy boxes, um, I'll explain how they work. Um, basically, uh, it, each fancy box contains a gem. But, um, let's see if I can perform this dodge here. Nice. Each fancy box contains a gem. Uh, give me a second here, shall I? Uh, I don't think I need to grab it. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah, I did press R1, but not soon enough. It's all right. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, each, each fancy box contains a gem. Now, these gems... Uh, yeah, let's go this way. <clears throat> These gems can be used at the at the subway, top of the subway tracks. But the way they work is basically, it's not like every gem gives you um, a specific item. Um, the way it works is you, if you get one gem, you get a grenade. If you get two, you get the tactical stock. And if you get three, you get um, the, uh, the hip pouch. So in order to get the hip pouch, which is what we want, because it's just going to save us... Um, it's just gonna save us some uh, some time. Um, we need to get all three gems, so it's kind of annoying, but it's yeah, it's how it goes. That's pretty much the only thing I want, like the hip. Pa Ooh, that was actually I didn't know you could do that, but I tried it and it worked. Here's another little optimization. You can grab the bolt cutters. You got to be a bit quick about this. Run over here, dodge, and then yep. <laughs> She's going about, she's talking about the, you know, potential cutscene. Yeah, that was actually really good. Getting pretty good at this. <laughs> I actually managed to do it fast enough one time where I actually saw, um, uh, what's his face? Saw, uh, Nikolai Spear. Ow. I'm just going to run past these dogs. They're not that important. Go, 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 go. 
because they'll despawn later. So nice, made it. One bite. Beautiful. Go 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 go. Up, up. No, that guy's not too bad to dodge most of the time. All right, don't forget to pick up the hip pouch here. It's hard to remember the differences sometimes between um between the, the easier difficulties and the harder ones. Beautiful. I was talking about um was I talking about that? Yeah, I think so. I was talking about distortion too um on my uh, Inferno playthrough. If you've ever seen him do a speed run, well, of pretty much any game, but this one in particular, holy crap, he is fast. It's it's actually insane how quick how quickly he finishes this. Almost in under 50 minutes, poss quite possibly by the time... Excuse me, quite possibly by the time this has been released, he might have done it in under 50 minutes. <laughs> okay, so the game, yeah, like I said, doesn't force you to do it, but use, use one just to make life easier, and then go. Now we're doing time-wise, I want to have a look. So, oh yeah, obviously we don't need to pick up any green herbs. Uh, if we get poisoned here, that's pretty damn bad. I am really annoyed by this guy. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah. I had to turn and I wanted to attack that guy, but it caused me to forget which way I was going. <laughs> go, get in there. Okay. Doing well. I don't think we need to do it, but I'll pick it up. 20 handgun bullets is plenty. Okay, let's go over here. Quickly rush to this thing. I can't hear any crawlers, creepy crawlies. Turn. Can't believe I'm actually at, at a point where uh, after I finish this playthrough. I will have now completed. Oh, okay, we're good. I will have. I will have completed uh, Resident Evil one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, and seven. That was terrible. Okay, one, two, three, yeah, and seven. That's four of them out of seven of them. Almost no. Ah, that's really annoying. All right, it's. It's fine because all we need to do is get out of here and I can actually show you what I was talking about as well. Um, so yeah, in this mode, man, this is gonna cost me a lot of time. In this mode as well, that's how we're doing caution. If uh, Jill ever gets to danger, um, she will automatically recover to caution. So essentially I'm gonna have to play the rest of the game in caution. Oh, not the rest of the game. I'm gonna have to play for a while in caution. Go, 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 come on, get out of there. So yeah, you get out, you go to the edge of this fence, and she's like, Bleh. Good job, Jill. And yeah, we're still on caution, but that's fine. Okay. Alright, so that didn't go fantastically well, but something. Okay, let's see if I can dodge here as well. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that dodge saves quite a bit of time. So I'm just going to let uh, Carlos talk here because it pauses the timer. Technically it doesn't matter to get it really, really fast, but you know, Not your partner. I like doing it fast. Alright, so the trick that I used in Inferno mode to dodge backwards to give myself room to um, fight off Nemesis actually works here too. If you dodge forward at the right time, like I did there, um, it'll make life so much easier. So I'm going to do the old... Turning around. Okay. I actually really dislike the aim assist in this game. I think the aim assist in, um, pretty sure it was in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, was much, much better. In this one, it's, yeah, kind of crappy. Alright, so here's what we've got to do now. This part sucks because. Um, let's see, so Nemesis is gonna drop down in a moment. I think the reason he hasn't dropped down yet is because I went quite fast. Um, but he will in just a second. Let's grab a fancy box. So both fancy boxes there is. Both fancy boxes are uh, in 
either of these stores, so we're going to get all of them, because like I explained before. Now, it would be nice if he left the area, but I don't think he will. Yeah, he's right over here. So he's going to do a yell, and he's going to try and attack me. Ooh, that is really bad. I'm going to get punched. Okay, either he missed or... Come on, I need you to get over here. No! Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm running. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed the grenade. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm not actually concerned too much with him. So I'm just gonna leave. Go, go, go. Uh, okay, now the thing is, you want to... You want to use the bolt cutters over here. So that when you get the uh, shotgun, um, you can actually discard them. Because if you don't do that... Um... Ah, no. no, come on, I dodged. <laughs> How did you manage to grab me? I can't see. And I died. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> I never expected to die there. Oh well. Thing hap things happen. Hooray, I died in assisted mode. <laughs> ah, that's really annoying. I don't even know where I am. Oh well. There goes the uh, potentially completing it in uh, an hour. <laughs> Let's see. I know I'm not that far away. Or am I in the... Uh... I think I know where I am, actually. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I guess... Um... May as well use the uh, assault rifle, seeing as we got it. I wanted to use this barrel to explode it on him, but then I thought, ah, that's good for later as well. Go. Bolt cutters. Alright, well at least now definitely it'll be four episodes. Go. There he is. Stores. Yes, I'm breaking into stores. <laughs> Get in there. I don't know why he doesn't run away, like... He just kind of like hangs around. <laughs> Get on your knees. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to bother getting the moderator, it's... Really not, not worth it. Wasn't he? He was on his knees. How the hell did he get up so quick? Hmm. Go, go, go. Careful. All right, I need to do this. <laughs> I forgot to make immediately. <laughs> All right, let's play the suit safer. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! I heard him, but the other guy hadn't died yet. Alright, there we go. How much time have we got left? Not much. I think it might be the building too. You, sir. There we go. Okay, so it is. Oh, it's weird. F A R A S A two three two. Valid route confirmed. Okay, um, yes, we're gonna get that stuff. Amazing. Just trying to think in my head of what to do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna grab. I'm actually gonna grab the. not the gunpowder. The hand grenade. I'm gonna use the bolt cutters to get access to the shotgun. And I'm gonna discard the bolt cutters. Alright, now I'm gonna get the grenade ready. I'm uh, pretty much already out of time, but. So 
Come on. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'll take out this guy and we'll stop here. I'll continue from this point next time. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 32 of Less Pattern Resident Evil 3 Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.